Well, some years after I retired from the park, and I was just getting my sort of fledgling art, wildlife art business going, uh, the superintendent called me and said, Dale, he said, as you know, since I had been Paradise District Ranger, as you know, these lampshades that had hung here for between 50 and 70 years uh, were literally falling apart. When I was a district ranger here, I came in one day off there. Those were two, two world record snowfalls when I lived up here. And I we came in and the one of the shades was laying in pieces on the floor. So I knew then something had to be done. And one was taken down and sent off to Harpers Ferry, West Virginia, where they have conservators on the staff to see if they could be, they could, you know, through some conservation You're method, they could be saved. And the word came back from them, well, not really, you know, so fragile. The best bet is to think about replacing them and we'll save, we'll keep the one that I shipped out there, keep that uh, for the archives. <laughs> so I, I left, I, reti I retired. I was sitting there in my studio and a phone call came from the park superintendent who said, Dale, would you be interested in painting the replacement shades? I said, I, you know, wonderful what privilege to do it. I'd love to do it. Obviously, the building is on the registry of National Historic Structures. And so anything that's replaced in here has to be either a, a duplicate of what was there before, or in my case, they allowed it to be what they called a replacement in kind to preserve the historic integrity of the building and its furnishings. The shades had to be the same paper cylinders, and, but they allowed me to paint new artwork for it. And mostly they were done by the wives of park employees who were in the park at that time. I was fortunate enough to meet one of those people. She was still living then, uh, Mary or Margaret Rose Painter, whose husband, her first husband, uh, had been a uh, former chief ranger of the park. She said, we met down in the Longmire Community Building, gathered around the tables down there and said, well, what should we paint? And somebody suggested wildflowers. So they painted the lampshades, which were like mine, I'm sure, enjoyed by the visitors and guests of the inn for you know, all those many years, between 50 and 70 years that they hung here. Having been the chief naturalist for the park, or the chief of interpretation as they call it today, I said, well, you're going to allow me to paint new artwork for it. I don't want to have to duplicate what was there. I wouldn't be very interested in it if I had to do that. It would, the fun would be gone if I had to duplicate that artwork. So they said, yeah, we'll, do your, we'll allow you to do what we call a replacement in kind. Same materials. They even required that I use the same paints. And the paints that were used for those shades and mine were tempera paints those same paints that we remember when we were grade school children, those jars of paint. They also said to me, those other paintings, the original paintings, were pretty stylized and, and um, simplistic. And they knew, they could see my penchant for detail. So they said, would you please try to be a little, little less detailed, a little, give, a, give them a simpler treatment. And that was a challenge for me because I have this feel this compulsion to paint things as I see them in the natural world. But I backed off from that and tried to be a little simpler in the treatment. Now I realize how important that was. Because if I had made these actual paintings in the round and had done them in acrylics or something of that sort, I don't think it would have the rustic character. It wouldn't reflect the rustic character of this building.